guys so today's my day off and I'm doing a little bit of artwork and um, a few people have asked me to do videos on my art and um, I wasn't thinking to do it but then this morning I thought it would be quite a funny one so this is the most probably obnoxious way to make artwork <laughs> um, I was on the phone to my father who lives in the States and um, yeah don't do this when you're on the phone because they'll end up not liking it <laughs> So basically what I'm doing here is I'm kind of recreating that piece of art where Jesus is reaching through the water. Um, so this is a really fun one to start with, this technique, which I'm going to show you guys. So at the moment it's not finished. Um, at the moment I'm about there with it. So you can see, I'm going to show you like this sort of bubble, bubble effect. If you can see that close up. There's bubbles on the picture, right? To give it that watery effect. Um, so what I began with is doing just a, a quick wash of colour. So I did blues on this side and then blending into purple into another blue and then yellow here. And then I filled in um, the Lord. Just And then after I was finished with, with him, I kind of whitewash over top so he looks like he's through the water again and then I'm going to make more detail on the hand as it comes through um, and there's that ripple of water that I'm going to add as well around the hand as his hands reaching through so I just wanted to show you quickly like the technique of, of making bubbles on paper <laughs> um, so I did like a kids I used to teach art with children so this is basically a technique that I used to do with like real young kids so it's great fun. I love to make art, which is just really fun and experimental and just I just like to play. And then it usually comes out um, good because you're just enjoying what you do, um, not worrying too much about it being perfect and all of that. So um, another thing for good texture, I've kind of ruined these now, but um, is the natural sponge. Um, so when I did the when I did the coloured wash, I'd go over the top to add a bit of depth with another shade, and just dabbed on so a bit darker shades and just to give it a bit of depth. So what you do to get the the bubbles is very simple. <laughs> you probably guessed it already. You put water in a glass. You fill it. Um, I've got quite a lot of water in there actually, but it's because I've used that over time. Keep adding to it. This is my white white one so like that much water and then you see the texture of that with the water with the paint added to it um, a few squirts from the tube of the paint just so it's not too watery it's still uh, you can just play around anyway um, and then squeeze in some fairy liquid into the pots and then as make sure that you've mixed the paint that you want. So I'm going for a dark colour this time just to add a little bit more depth again with my bubbles. So yeah, so I've put for about this time three of paint from the tube, quite a bit, because I've put too much water in this, you see. So if you use less water, you use less paint obviously. And then a few squirts of fairy liquid. And make sure it's in a glass like this so that the bubbles can rise out of the glass. You can't do it on a flat dish. And then you get your straw and then you blow away. You see they come to the top like that and it's so, so simple you just go whoop and then that adds can you see like that one? Maybe if I pop it we'll see what happens. Yeah you see the the paint gathers around the edge of the bubble and creates the bubble effect. So it's really fun, really fun technique to have a go with and um, yeah so if you're doing anything creative with water, have a go with the bubble painting and just, yeah, it's just really, really fun. So I'll give it another go and yeah, you can imagine while I'm on the phone to my dad, he's like, what is that noise? And I'm just going. Yeah, I am listening to you, dad. Yeah. <laughs> Bless him. He's patient with me. <laughs> so let's see how that comes out. Boop. got more colours in the bubbles there so it's good it's all about layering it up and then um, 
and then I'll add more detail to the hand and whatnot and just keep keep adding layers until I like it so that's my little tutorial on bubble painting <laughs> god bless you guys have a good day bye